That's insane. Like, I literally am so shocked. <laughs> These are the, the good days, the good times. The best days, buddy. You're gonna yeah. go meet your big sister. All right, guys, Katie made it here. She's actually holding the camera in her chair right now. This is the first time I'm getting to hold him. He um, loves you. So gotta document it, but he is so sweet, so small. And if you notice, he has no oxygen. Like, they took it out because they had to give him medicine or something. And then they were like, he's breathing on his own. We don't even have to put it back on. And he has been doing this for almost an hour now. Almost an hour And with he has great no numbers. Issues. He's been at like 98 to 100. And it's such a relief. The big man is fighting. He is wide awake. I'm going to try to show you guys his eyes. Yeah, he's Can like, say, where am I at? Can Harvey. Hey. Mommy and Daddy are here. Mm. Are you okay? Are you nice and warm? Oh, yeah. guys it is another day i don't even is, know what day it is i was gonna say is it i think it's tuesday i know we're in october october and, uh, 1st it is a, another day and we are in the nicu it has been a little bit since we uh, updated you guys last there has been a lot that has happened and a lot has changed Good. a lot of emotions um so i think we're both still trying to process everything that's happened because it's been so much in such a short time but everything is going in the right direction right now totally. me and trap have been separated me and harvey have been separated i had a lot of emotions harvey and, and i honestly, have spent some quality time together i told him it's not fair because he needs to be i need to be his favorite but uh. um Honestly, I don't even know like what we've told you guys, what we haven't told you guys. We both got a lot of rest last night, and we yeah. both woke up with just like a more positive energy, and uh, things have been going in the right direction. So we thought it'd be a good time to Sit update down you guys. And tell you guys. So we ended the last video um, with me being here at Children's Hospital with Harvey. Katie was still back at our first hospital where she gave birth, and uh, come to find out, um, she actually hemorrhaged at birth. Um, I did not even find that out, which was very frightening. I found that out um, while I was at this hospital with Harvey. And so they were treating her, um, but also you have to understand, and the moms will understand, Katie was ready to run out of that hospital, like no matter get, what like, they said. I think you get some sort of mom adrenaline and it doesn't matter. You just wanna be with your baby and want the best for him. But at the same time, you have to be taken care of, and they did a very good job taking care of me. So fast forwarding, Katie was able to join us here, uh, which was great, and so we had a good day. He was still on oxygen, and then you guys saw in the beginning of the video, when I got to hold him, he had no oxygen tube in, which was a surprise to us and the doctors. That's been over 24 hours. He's been without oxygen and breathing He's independently so good. on his own. And so the doctors told us that he's officially turned the curve when it comes to that, which was the biggest concern in coming here. And so Harvey's a fighter. We're proud of this he's little a guy. Strong little he boy. is so strong. And so that is a huge answer to prayer. We're so thankful. That's probably part of the reason we're feeling better today. It's just like such a big, big thing and that has changed and it could have easily Got gone worse. the other direction. And so we're super thankful. At this point He's got a feeding tube in, and he has IV the is. IV, which poor guy, his veins, for some reason, they struggled so much to get the IV Nothing in him. Nothing is worse than watching people try to stick needles in your baby. It was... It was rough. They were able to get him hooked up and get the fluids rolling, and he's been doing good. They want to try and start weaning him off of that, because until he can, um, we are going to be here in the NICU. And so we want him to be here as long as he needs to be. But also we're trying to take the steps to get us home when the time is right. And so they're going to run some more tests this evening. And depending on those tests, they may completely remove the tube which and the IV, so which would be amazing. I got to feed him for the first time last night before bed. And he did really good. 
he still has the feeding tube just to make sure he's getting enough but so far i fed him i think four times and he's done really good every time so he's making big improvement on that he's showing off to everybody how strong he is because he came off the oxygen now he's eating really good he's and he's, he's being so, so sweet and i can actually hold him for the first little bit he had to stay in his little box and we couldn't hold him which was so hard and i hate seeing him wrapped up in these cords but i can hold him now and feel like i'm doing something like i want him to be held and to be with mom and dad we've had sweet family come in when i can't hold him to hold him and spend time with him and make sure he knows he's so loved but he's doing really good i think me and Trevor both we want to be here with harvey and take care of him but at the same time it's so hard because we have another baby at home and we miss her She can't come visit right now and I really don't want her to be confused seeing him like this so um, I want him to be taken care of Trav's gonna try to go home and see her today it's hard because you almost I don't want her to see me and then I'm gone for another two days and her be like what's going on so I tried to FaceTime her and she like runs to the door and she's looking for me yelling mommy and daddy it's about the worst thing ever um, but we decided I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna spend some time with her. The great news is my parents have been spoiling her so much. She went to the aquarium today. I think she went to a zoo, somewhere where she was petting goats. They're taking her uh, to every restaurant, she getting bought her a guitar. home toys. Like she's living it up. And so like that so means fun. so much. Um, and so we're so thankful for that. Maybe I can throw in some clips. They've been sending us videos and it's really helped us so she is well taken care of and she's doing great but of course you want to be with both your babies and take care of them and love on them so eventually we're going to get to go home and she's going to mm. get to meet baby harvey and it's going to be so sweet it's going to be the best literally. right now i think travis going to go home and spend some time with her yes. take care of her i'm going to stay with harvey and i think my mom's going to come sit with me and then tomorrow maybe I'll be able to go see Haley and spend some time with her if we don't get to go home. We don't really know when we're going to get to go home because the tests have to all be checked off. So that's kind of up in the air. But yeah. hopefully we'll get a better gauge tonight and we'll be able to plan out for the future. Honestly, every nurse, every doctor has been so thoughtful, so encouraging and have so really kind. taken care of us. So that's been, that's been so nice. I think we feel for everyone that's been in an NICU situation once you go through it you understand a little bit more and like the emotions and it's so crazy but you really appreciate all the people that are there for you and take care of you, you and never how, forget them. how important I know every I was telling all the nurses like I'm never gonna forget you like it's special they literally pour into our kid like it's their own and uh, it doesn't matter if your kids in the NICU for the biggest thing or the smallest thing it is still something that is hard on every parent I was talking with a guy next to us. He's been here for over two weeks. So He's coming sad. over and checking on us. Like, you know, people are so kind. And just like you guys uh, have been praying for Harvey, we're so thankful. It means the world and I believe prayer works. And the fact that he's at where he's at right now in the time we've had is I believe 100% an answer to prayer. So we are so, so thankful. Um, and we're gonna continue with the day. I think um, we're gonna have some more visitors this afternoon. We're being careful with that. Um, just because you know he's still he's small his breathing he already had issues with so everyone scrubs it, down cleans up and we're keeping um, it right now just the people that already have been with him mm -hmm. or people that we know are safe no kissing all no. of that very safe especially with sick season so 100%. we're gonna be staying home and taking care of little man Haley staying home so we're gonna make sure he's safe and taken care of I just got back to the apartment. I'm taking Haley outside. She's on the playground right now. Ellie is watching her and doing a amazing job. Um, she's been going on and off with my mom, um, also my mother-in-law. And so Haley is getting spoiled, uh, but it's so, so good to see her. Her smile is literally everything. The second I walked in, she just cheeses and yells, Daddy. It is like the best thing in the world. 
<laughs> Where's my girl? <laughs> I love you so much. Also, everyone said it, but she already looks so old and so big. Uh, but it's gonna be so, so fun to have those two around. She's gonna be the best. Do you have stickers on your legs? Okay. They are so cute. Can you give me a high five? Ah, Haley James, I'm so impressed. Fair enough. Did Gigi and Pop get that for you? Wow. Show Daddy. Can I see it? Can I play it? Okay, Daddy's turn. <laughs> Whoa. I love that strap. Yeah, it's got it. You can probably make it. Wow. Good job. Okay, I'm back at the hospital. I just grabbed some food. We got some McAllister's, and then I told you guys about that push present that I ordered, I guess that was two videos ago. Losing track of where we're at here, but I did bring that because that was all at the house. I'm gonna give it to her anyway, even though the birthstone is wrong, because there is a bunch of other stuff um, that is just normal, like postpartum, like comfort stuff. And so I'm gonna give it to her anyway. I think she will appreciate the gift and get a good laugh out of it. Also, I grabbed one of Katie's blankets and pillows just because if we're gonna be spending a couple more nights here, um, I know she would like that. So, gonna get all this stuff up in the hospital. Probably gonna have to make a couple trips, but that's okay. It was so nice to see Haley. I will say I miss her like a hundred times more after going and seeing her. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get with her sooner rather than later. I may see if uh, my parents can bring her to a little restaurant like right here by the hospital and maybe get Katie out if she's up to it. Totally up to her. Um, that way she can get some time with Haley. Gonna run this food up before it gets cold. I honestly could not guess what it would be. It's heavy. Open it up. Look at him trying to figure out how it's so nicely wrapped and so perfect. Oh, babe. <laughs> That's so sweet. I will be using these tonight. Come on, <laughs> I'm, excited. I'm nervous. I actually can't open it. Gotta show us. Okay, it says it has two H's for Haley for Harvey. And it has her little purse stones on it. Okay, that's the, so cute. The funny part is, and I already told the vlog, Harvey's birthstone is for October. Purple is October, I think. It's my birthstone. <laughs> it is your birthstone. So <laughs> but we'll the have H to doesn't add one. match. We we'll can probably add just one. get another birthstone in Harvey's and just take this one off and put it back on and it'll be fixed. I told everybody I said it's the thought that counts. Babe, you did great. I love it. I love it. I love the little pieces in the design. It's so cute. So. I'm going to put that on and wear it as a proud mom. Insane. Like, I literally am so shocked. <laughs> These are the, the, the good days, the good times. The best days, buddy. You're gonna yeah. go meet your big sister. Haley is going <laughs> to lose her mind. I don't know where. She's gonna die. <laughs> it's because your mama came to breastfeed you. 
<laughs> the best news ever. So we've been here and everyone's kind of been like, we're not sure when he can go home. As of this morning, we thought we were gonna be here another two to three days. He had a feeding tube in, his IVs, and he's been eating good and doing good, but they still had stuff on him. But the doctor just came in and said he's been eating so well. I started breastfeeding exclusively and he's been doing so good that they said we can actually go home today. He gained some weight back that and it's like crazy. so crazy because he he's such a fighter and every time like people think he's gonna take a long time to turn around, he's just proving them wrong. So we're going it's home today. Unbelievable. We were literally I'm just so sitting here. I was about to go home and see Haley because I've been missing her so much and she misses me. But I didn't want to leave him too because I'm sitting here feeding him, so it's like hard to kind of line it up and she's too young to come visit here so it's been like a long few days but now we're all getting to go home and start normal life as a family of four and he's healthy and he's doing so good i'm just so happy like honestly i am shocked that we're going home. i can't like, believe it, doesn't it. i still real. can't believe it <laughs> you know the nurse was so excited to tell she us she was so happy because i've been like so like what can we do to help him like how can i do better and I'm going home today. She's like, you guys want to go home? <laughs> we're like, today? I thought she was joking. She's she like, like well, suitcases. Do you want to go home? And I was like, <laughs> wait, yeah. And she's like, okay, you can pack them. She's like, it'll take a like a couple hours, but you can get out of here. I'm like, couple hours. <gasps> going home I'll today. I'll take that all day long. Going but home today. It's amazing. So excited. We're gonna start packing up everything right now. We have to watch like 12 different discharge videos um, before we can leave and I'm sure there'll be some paperwork, but I'm gonna put the camera away so I can get going and get out of here and get home to Haley as fast as we can and then I'm sure we will show you Haley's reaction to us going home in a little bit. But thank you guys so much. We're obviously so, so excited. All of the prayers, I believe 100% are working and um, contributing to Harvey's success. So. Literally, I'm like out of breath. We have no words. So, so excited. Thank you guys for praying. Thank you for the support. And uh, we're headed home. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.